What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today I have a bit of a different video for you guys. If you're a keyboard enthusiast, sit tight, you're gonna love this one. And if you're all about keyboard ASMR, got you covered as well. In my hand, I have a massive key switch tester. There are 63 individual mechanical key switches on this board, and we're gonna go over them all for you guys today. So in case you're interested in picking up a new gaming keyboard, you don't know really what the switches do or the differences between them, maybe you wanna build your own, I'm gonna compare them all, do sound tests for you guys, so like I said, ASMR for you. And I'm not gonna be doing a lot of talking during the sound tests, obviously. So I painstakingly designed all the graphics for the switches and all their specs on there so you can read it while I'm doing them. And a disclaimer before we begin, uh, there are 63 on here, like I said, but around 15 or so of them are duplicate switches just in different housing. So for example, we have our Gateron switches, then they're duplicated again in like the milky housing, and then again in the clear RGB crystal shell. So they're the same switch, just different houses, so I'm not going to go over um, all three of those three different times for you guys. And obviously this is not every single mechanical switch out there. There are hundreds upon hundreds. These are just the main ones that are you know, more mass produced. So we're not gonna be going over Logitech's mushy Romer G switches. We don't have the new like box Royal switches. There's no Topper switches, none of the new Halo switches. Just the ones that I can get my hands on, the ones that you can pretty much buy out there if you wanna build your own keyboard. And plus I threw in uh, four of the Razer switches as well. These Razer switches are always pretty popular, so I figured I'd throw them on here just for you know, comparison's sake. And I did buy this key switch tester on Mastrop, but like I said, I kinda customized it and added a few of my own. Now, in order to get through this in a organized fashion, I broke this up into six different zones for this review. So first up, up top, we have our cherry switches. We'll go over all of those. Then below that, we'll talk about the Gaterons. Moving over to the kale box switches. Then we're gonna work our way down to the right side of the board, going over the kale switches and talk about some of the speed switches you can buy. And this sort of zone of newer miscellaneous, then wrapping it up with the four razor switches. And after each of the zones, I'll do like a summary for you guys going over, you know, my opinions on the switches and which ones I like and don't like and my favorites and all that good stuff. Let's hop into it, starting off with Cherry.
All right, so those are the genuine Cherry MX switches. And I feel like Cherry is one of the most like well-known key switch companies out there you're probably familiar with. And the ones that are more available in gaming keyboards out there are the Reds, Browns, and Blues. With Reds, I think, being most popular because they're linear, so they're a lot quieter. Then the complete opposite of that, which people also really like, is the Blues, which are very clicky and tactile. And they're all pretty much, you know, uh, the same in terms of travel distance and actuation, except for green. Green's a little bit harder to press down, and it like, actuates lower. And they're all, obviously, different weights and stuff like that, as you saw with the, uh, the graphics. But now we're going to hop into the Gateron switches. So pretty much these Gateron switches are more the same, but they're kind of like an off-brand Cherry. Uh, cherry are designed in Germany, while these Gateron switches are designed in China. And, uh, you know, like I said, more the same. Uh, but my favorite switch but for the past two years has always been the Gateron Clears because it's so much lighter. And it's since it's it's so light, it's so linear that it's like a very buttery, smooth switch. I've always been a personal favorite of mine, but uh, that's definitely changed since. But a little, little fun fact about that. Now we're gonna move on to these box switches. Okay, so the Kale Box switches are also designed in China. And these are actually first designed to be used in like gaming cafes to prevent any like residue from like crumbs or liquid to get inside the housing of the actual shell for the switch and then damage it, which is why it has that kind of box construction to catch all the, the grime and nasty stuff in there. All right, now we're gonna go over to the right side of the board and talk about the bulk of these. This, this is where it starts to get really interesting.
All right, so I know that was a lot of information for you guys to take in. And these were a mix of Gateron, Kale, and Cherry when you wrap up those uh, speed switches down below. But these were just like, like I said, miscellaneous switches, all very different. If I had to kind of summarize all of these, these are more of the newer ones. And I am a huge fan of the uh, Box Jade switches and the Box Navy. They are some of the clickiest switches I've ever tried before. I think uh, Jade kind of takes the cake there because it's like a higher pitch click. And I want to make an entire keyboard video just on these switches and like building my own really, really clicky gaming keyboard or a, game, a keyboard in general with those Jade switches. Uh, I really like those. And the complete opposite with those dark yellows, I did not like those at all. Uh, they feel very stiff at first. I don't know if it's just this switch, but just not a fan of how that switch feels. Then as for the Alias and the Zilio switches, those are all the same switch, just different weights. So if you want to, you know, have a harder press while you're gaming, uh, you can pick between those all different weights, like I said. Really liked the Telio switch. That one's also very, very linear and smooth. Like I said, like the Gateron clears that I liked, but this one wasn't as easy to press. And I think I like it more because of that. So this one's definitely gonna rank up there, one of my favorites. And that kind of goes along with the, uh, the Pro Green, which is kind of like a darker teal color. Uh, it's a very smooth switch as well, but it does have a nice satisfying click. Then for those speed switches, these are highly sought after from gamers. All five of these travel less than your average four millimeter travel distance. With the Kill Silver, Bronze, and Copper being the quickest, but the shortest stem here is gonna be the Cherry Silver Speeds. Those only have a 3.4 millimeter travel distance. So again, when speed is in the name here, obviously gamers are gonna want that to kind of give them that competitive edge, even though it's ever so slight with the slightest little bit of millimeters, but they are faster switches in the end. Then we're gonna go and talk about the four Razer switches here, including their brand new Optomechanical switch, while also covering the most popular green, their silent orange, and the relatively newer came out last year, Razer Yellow switch. All right, so all four very different switches here from Razer. We have their very popular green switch, which is that very clicky one, which is in most of their keyboards. Then to counter that, they put out the silent orange switch. And this was pretty much like a main competitor when Corsair put out their strafe keyboard lineup, which first introduced silent red switches. Um, we don't have that on this board. And then last year they put out their yellow switch, which is their speed switch, which again was a direct competitor with Corsair's K95 Platinum keyboard when they introduced the silver speed switches from Cherry. So you can uh, you can see a correlation there. And then we have the brand new release as of like two days ago, Razer's Opto Mechanical switch, which is a purple switch, which is pretty much an optical mechanical switch, opto mechanical. This is in their new Razer Huntsman Elite and Huntsman keyboard. I just reviewed it if you want to check it out. And it uses an optical beam inside to detect when that switch is actuated, so it sends it, you know, right to your PC. And with a short 1.5 millimeter actuation point and a 3.5 millimeter total travel distance, this is the lightest clicky switch out there. So I know that was a lot of information on this massive key switch tester, but I hope you enjoyed. I hope you, you know, learned more about key switches and how different they are from each other and kind of their individual specs and which one would be best for you. But to kind of wrap all this up, obviously speed switches are very, very popular. So if you are a gamer, you want to probably check out those because you can pick them up in multiple packs of hundreds and hundreds to build your own keyboard. 
but I think coming down to it, my favorite might be the, uh, the Telios because it's very similar to my old favorite, Gateron Clears. Just, uh, just more solid it feels, and it's not as light as the Gateron Clears, that's for sure. But in terms of clickiness, that box jade is something crazy, something real crazy. So maybe you can do a dedicated uh, keyboard build just around these jade switches. And uh, a lot of information for you guys. So like I said, uh, crazy, crazy stuff here. No bit of a longer video. And since there's a lot of ASMR going on, maybe you want to put this on at nighttime to fall asleep too with all those nice clicky sounds. And uh, try something new, you know? But I hope you guys enjoyed. I will put a link to this key switch tester in the description down below. But like I said, um, I did kind of customize it and add my own just for the sake of this video. But if you want to, you know, check it out, I'll put it down there for you just in case. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.